Our Target 17 was the first to tell you about questionable tweets coming from the Albuquerque Police Public Information Officer Twitter account. The tweets from the account have calmed down after a city council meeting took place back in April, where City Council President Pat Davis threatened to defund the position, citing our reporting. It is very clear that this account in the way it engages with our community is disruptive, is unhelpful to our engaging with the community and our positive relations. It is not that we are just bringing this to your attention. We have brought it to your attention. Channel 7 has brought it to your attention. But tonight, a new tweet has emerged, and they're not from the Albuquerque Police PIO account. Target 7's John Carnella tells us new tweets not from that account. Yeah, that's exactly right, Shelly and Doug. Last night, Albuquerque Police Chief Harold Medina tweeted at a lawyer, and some believe it's inappropriate. On Wednesday night, Albuquerque attorney Tom Grover took to Twitter. And what I want is good government. I want ethical government. And I want government that's accountable to us, the citizens. And we are not getting that right now. Grover tweeted at Chief Harold Medina, let's be honest, Harold, 76 murders year to date. The tweet that was directed at me was from Chief Medina on his APD chief of police Twitter account, uh, mocking my assertion that the homicide amount or, or numbers in the city are about 76. In response, Chief Medina tweeted, ha ha ha, obviously math wasn't part of law school. Have a good night, Tom. You all crack me up. See you next week for the depot. I don't think under any analysis that tweet is appropriate. It's disgraceful. Target 7 was the first to tell you about similar tweets coming from the Albuquerque PIO Twitter account directed at members of the community. At the time, Chief Medina had this to say. Have you ever felt that a social media post by that account was inappropriate? I think that a lot of posts go out with uh, bad information that puts our officers in a bad light. I gave my word to my officers that I would uh, ensure that I would push back on individuals who put out a bad narrative. In that interview, Chief Medina said the department's goal is to push back on misinformation. Grover agrees that pushback to clear up numbers is appropriate, but not personal attacks. An appropriate response, if they're going to do any response, would be to say, with all due respect, Mr. Grover or Tom or whatever, we disagree with you because our numbers show this amount. The city of Albuquerque has a social media policy directing city employees to, quote, keep it professional and avoid confrontation. I think they've escalated in terms of the personal degree of attack. We reached out to the police department today to speak with Chief Medina about the tweet and how it specifically pushed back against disinformation. Instead of an interview, we got a statement saying, Chief Medina said the general public can decide whether the tweet was appropriate. After the chief tweeted at Grover, members of the community responded. One person saying, based on the number of haws, I thought it was a parody account. Another saying, conclusive proof that we have disrespectful, arrogant, defensive top brass leaders. At last check, Target 7 did not find a tweet supporting the chief. I, I'm, I'm speechless. Darren White says when he taught media relations at Northwestern University, he told his students... Look, you are always going to have people in the community that are going to be critical uh, uh, of what you're doing, your leadership, whatever. Don't engage them because it's, it's only going to make it worse and you're going to get... The, the back and forth is only going to get to a point where you're going to say something that um, you'll regret. There's nothing wrong with pushing back on somebody um, in saying, look, I think your numbers are wrong. Um, I think that you guys are doing this for political reasons. Um, it's another thing, though, when you rise to that level where you're trying to it'd be humorous. Neither of the city councilors who initially took issue with the tweets in April were available today for an interview. However, Councilor Renee Grout told us on the phone that she was shocked by the tweet. She later followed up with an email and told us she called the chief and left him a message. For Target 7, I'm John Cardinelli. The mayor's office sent us a statement writing, We support the department in their efforts to push back against misinformation on social media. Uh